rivalry or fighting and all that. Uh, as far as the two officials are concerned, I found him when I went to eat some very nice muchomo. My name is Joel Aita. I'm the chairman of Rue Hill Sports Club. Some few weeks ago, it was called Doves All Stars. Uh, it changed ownership to a company called Development Infrastructure, who bought 100% shares of Doves All Stars. So, as part of our company strategy, we have carried out a complete rebranding, a complete rebranding of uh, the former Doves All Stars. We started first of all by change of name. So when the ownership changed, uh, we came up with a change of name, which we mentioned as Arua Hill uh, Sports Club. Somebody will ask why Arua Hill Sports Club? One is we wanted to have a local identity, where it's coming from. And then secondly, currently our company, DI, is actually constructing a study. Uh, in, in, it's, a, it's a partnership with the Arua City Council. It's a PPP, public-private partnership. It's going to be a 20,000 uh, seater stadium, which is almost now 60% done. By July next year, we'll be done with it. And uh, this has been financed by development infrastructure. And this stadium is going to be called Arua Hill Park. So together with that name, we felt it would be very good to, to have a club called uh, Arua Hill uh, Sports Club. Sports club because we're not just looking at uh, football alone, we're looking at a number of other sports act activities. Like for example, in, in, the, in, the, in the stadium, we have other sports activities like tennis, basketball, volleyball, netball. So all those other activities are, are there. So we felt the, the, the club should be able to, in the near future, have all those kind of uh, sporting activities. We, as part of our branding, we also changed the, the logo from Dove to, to Leopard. Uh, as you may know or may not know, the West Nile has their, their emblem, their totem is Leopard. They normally have a saying that, uh, that the Lubara is, oh, West Nilers are like Leopards. Very, very calm until you touch him. <laughs> so the, the club is taking that. Uh, that, that, that emblem as, a, as, as, the, as the logo. So when, the, when you see down in our logo, we have a leopard. And then we also change the motto. Our motto is called Together We Are Congolo. Now somebody will wonder, what, what does the word Congolo mean? A friend of mine recently had to go to the dictionary. When he reached K0, he didn't find the, the word Congolo. Then he calls me back. He says, but that's not in English, why? Okay, I will translate it for you, it's actually a Lubara word. Together, we are Congolo means, together we are strong. The word Congolo is strong. So when we come together, this team will not be beaten. So that, that is part of our branding aspects. Change of ownership, change of name, change of logo, and even change of our motto. So those were a few aspects our club came So what is our targets? What's our strategy? Um, our team has come up with a five-year strategic plan in place. That's our first five-year strategic plan. Uh, this strategic plan is going to guide us on what we want to be from now up to the next five years. When the five years will be over, we'll also make another five-year strategic plan. So I'll give you a glimpse on what our what we intend to do in the next five years. Uh, our first two years, that is this season and next season, we want to stabilize and set systems. I will say this is like a new club, so we've got it, although it was an old club. We want to stabilize it and then we want to set systems in place. So in, in, in that process, definitely we'll be playing very, very good football. Uh, 
But during this two-year period, our emphasis is going to be more on setting up the systems in the club. And in our second end of the second year, or within the second year, first season or second season, within this period, if we can be able to qualify to the Allied League, that is the Premier League or Super League, or, or that would be one of our targets. So we're saying within two years, after we've set up systems, after we've stabilized, within these two years, we should be able to qualify in the Premier League. Uh, it can be this season, it can be next season, that is really part of our plan. But our first emphasis is to first stabilize and set club systems. Then, after the two years, still within the five-year uh, strategic plan, we want to start having international engagements. Actually, right now, we're already having discussions with four international clubs, one in Italy, we have two in the uh, United Kingdom, we have one in France, and then we have the fifth one, which we just started discussion with, is from Israel. So these are all international clubs. We want to be able to partner with them, but we want to start it now so that we can have a memorandum of understanding, so that we can start having exchange of ideas, exchange of personnel, uh, our coaching team, our management team, should be able to go and learn from these clubs. So that is also part of our five-year plan. And um, within this five-year period, we also want to have a very, very strong academy, a very strong academy in place. Uh, as you may know, West Nile has a huge talent base. This talent base has not been tapped yet. So with this academy, we look at it scouting across, first of all in West Nile, then across the country, looking at young talent, maybe from the age of 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, these are guys we will be able to bring in our academy and train them, not just for the country, but also for the international engagements. We, some of our partners are already looking at, starting from 15 years, they are asking, can you identify some very good players from 15, 16 and 17. So our academy will be solid for that. We're also in the process of uh, <coughs> registration of the academy. And then uh, within the five years, one of the targets we want to add in is the ladies club. We want to have ladies football in our club. So we're going to have that department for ladies football. It's picking up. Uh, FUFA is very, very interested in developing uh, ladies football, even international, even FIFA is interested. So we also want to look at that. Like I said earlier on, we are also going to be having other sporting activities. Like already in the stadium, we already have other facilities, tennis, basketball, netball, volleyball. So with time, we'll also be able to develop that. Another question was, should the Ondupraka be scared? No. They shouldn't because, like I said earlier on, we are moving in the spirit of partnership, not the spirit of uh, rivalry or fighting and all that. Uh, as far as the two officials are concerned, I found him when I went to eat some very nice muchomo. He was. Uh, he was making. <laughs> he has actually the best Tomo hangout in Arua City. So when I looked at him, I ate this Mutomo. I said, uh, Mr. Terelu, this Mutomo is very nice. But can't we also work together? Uh, that time, his official business was making very, very delicious Mutomo. But he was also working with the West Nile TV uh, as very, very good sports uh, analyst. I found them doing what they are not experts in and leaving what they are experts in. I, I strongly believe, I, I like his uh, work as a PRO, he has been doing, and also as a sports analyst. So I was actually not looking at him just as a PRO. 
but I was looking at him in, in a bigger way. Being, bringing manage, managerial role in the football club. The same with Tony. I also found him doing some other things, totally different from football. Not from job. So I, I, I really found it when they were when they were not together with the, with the club. But as I said again, I fully respect on the program. They have done a lot for, for the country and they're still doing a lot. And I strongly believe we can be able to work together and to, to, to develop West Nile football. And in that spirit, we'll be able to work. And that is what really I want to come into.